call this meeting to order the district of Chatwin with the opening statement. Any new business on the uh, agenda for, before adoption? Not seeing any. Need a motion to adopt the agenda? Okay, play. Okay, minutes. M1, minutes, uh, minutes of the council's meeting held on September 16th, 2019. Sep? Favor, Gary. Minutes of the Committee of the Whole meeting held on September 3rd, 2019. All those in favor? Gary. M3, minutes, oh, we're on M4, eh? Okay, Minute, minutes of the Committee of the Whole meeting on September 16th, 2019. All those in favor? Carried. M4, minutes of the tax sale held on September 30th, 2019. Second. All those in favor? Carried. At this time, we have a delegation and a presentation to uh, a retired uh, fire, uh, fighter, I guess, that uh, we were scheduled to do this in the past and uh, our uh, chief had uh, succumbed to uh, one of the diseases that we try to fight against and uh, carry on with uh, some dignity that we hold uh, our chief in respect and long time uh, uh, volunteers. And today, with uh, great honor, I would like to uh, ask Dennis Walker to uh, stand and come to the center and we will present him. I will present him with, uh, with uh, congratulations for 38 years of service. And uh, one question I'd like to ask Dennis, did you serve in any other uh, uh, firefighting uh, duties prior to coming to Chatwin? Yes, sir. Ellen, you want to take them over there, please? Uh, just for records, Dennis, we're going to get you to step over to the mic and give it, get some uh, information. That'll be awesome. Yes, I served in Poo Scoopy from 75 till I came in Chatwin in 1980. Well, that's pretty good service, Dennis. and. Uh, we're, we're pretty honored to have you uh, here to uh, give you this uh, small gift that we are going to give to you today, which is uh, something that uh, every community should have people like yourselves and uh, the chief that went prior to you and uh, that retired. And I, I really appreciate this, not, not, not from council, but as a person that lived in Chowan and for all these years to be uh, able to have service from a fellow like you and other people that are serving with our for our community and i'd like to come up there and shake your hand and uh, present you with this uh, gift thank you dennis for all your service and i really appreciate it thank you very much and uh, once again thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you uh, very much. Uh, it's been great trying to serve the community and uh, with a lot of good people I've worked with. Thank you very much. Thank you once again, Dennis. Thank you very much.
Is there any, uh, we're going to give this opportunity to any of the firefighters that would like to thank Dennis. If you uh, want to, this is your opportunity right now in front of council. And in front of the community. On behalf of the membership, Dennis, of the Chetwin Fire Volunteer Fire Department, I would like to really thank you for all the dedicated years of service that you did contribute to the department. You weren't just one of those folks that stood on the sidelines and showed up. You showed up to be active and participate, and you did a lot of extracurricular things for the fire department as a whole to make it a more cohesive family unit. Uh, thank you very much for that, Dennis. Thank you, Your Worship. Thank you, Laverne. All right, uh, the good stuff has gone by. I guess now we'll get back to uh, business. Bylaw B1, District of Chetland, amend, Amendment Bylaw 1, 2019 Nicholson Road, uh, requires third reading and adoption. Okay, Councillor Weisgerber. Second. All those in favor? Carried. B2. District of Chetland Cemetery Amendment Bylaw Number 110-2019 request first and second and third reading. Motion to move first, second, and third reading. Second. All those in favor? Oh. Oh. Point of order. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, did, I just missed his glance there for a second. Uh, could we make one small friendly amendment? I'll just let Alex speak to it if that's okay, Your Worship. Okay, that would uh, have to come from a uh, councillor, right? A friendly amendment? Okay, speak to it and then we'll make the friendly amendment. So, the bottom of the first page where it says section 14.10, it's got one level marker, 90 centimeters by 60. Can we take out the level so it just says one marker? So then we can allow raised markers as well. Council? Second. He's been duly recorded. All those in favor of the amendment? Of the amendment? Okay, as amended, all those in favor? Carried. District of Chetland Tax Exemption Bylaw Number 1103-2019 requires best first, second, and uh, third readings. I'll move for second and third second that. Second. All those in favor? Okay, discussion. Discussion. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Uh, I get staff to answer that. Okay, if it's not, it's no longer being used as a, a church, it should come up with the bylaw. We can either have it deleted or it shouldn't even get picked up by the assessment authority. They should also delete it automatically, but it wouldn't hurt to take it out if we know which one now. So. Is it, um, is there a time frame they have to report that they no longer have a congregation? They they still own the building, they just don't have a congregation that I'm aware of. The, the timeline for this bylaw is we have to have it adopted before the end of October for it to be in effect for next year. So that's the only timeline as far as the exemption goes. 
Okay, as of now, they're exempt until uh, further, until next October, and if prior to October, we will either investigate or they will say that they are no longer a... Uh, if that's what council wishes, I was planning to do another round of letters next uh, spring or late spring for everybody who's on this bylaw to, to do another application just so we have it all up to date, anyways. But that wasn't done for this one, I was planning for next year. So. Okay, is that uh, sufficient enough, uh, councillor? Well, I, I don't know if it, if it is or not, so, that, so they'll be exempt. We missed, we missed until the next year. So uh, right now, we're uh, exempting them for this uh, following this coming year. Okay. Provided the use hasn't changed, it would still be exempt. If there's any change in use, it would get picked up by the assessment authority as well. So. Thank you. Okay. Uh, on the motion. All those in favor. Against? Carried. All right. Any reports? Regional, council, mayor, administrator? We're good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, discussion items. Letter from the Peace River Regional uh, District dated September 17, 2019, Housing Need Report uh, Regional Project. Do we have a little explanation on uh, this uh, project, sure. staff? So uh, we are actually legislated to, to conduct this housing needs assessment for the Ministry of Municipal Affairs. So the PRD has offered to do it on a regional basis and to apply for a grant on our behalf, which is really helpful. Um, <clears throat> if they don't get the grant or if for some reason they can't do it on our behalf, we still have the resources to do our own housing needs assessment. So this, it's something that we u utilize um, quite apart from the ministry's needs, so it's a, it's a really positive thing for us. So, uh, administration feels that this is a good thing, and then if it doesn't work out for some reason, we can still do it on our own. Okay, so uh, I'll make that recommendation that the district of Chetland participate in the regional housing needs project, and that council authorize the Peace River Regional District to apply for, receive, and manage the grant funding on behalf of the district. I would second that. Any discussion? Not seeing any. All those in favor? Carried. Letter from the office of the Premier dated September 30th, 2019. Leaders table on the draft intergovernmental partnership agreement for the conservation of the central group of Southern Mountain Caribou. Make our recommendation. The council authorized the mayor and council to travel as necessary to attend the leader, leader's table on the draft intergovernmental partnership agreement for the conservation of central group of southern Mount here. Second. second discussion. Yeah, I'd like to have a bit of discussion about this. I was very troubled to find out that. Um, not so much about the invite list, but the people that weren't invited. And I know the regional district has not been invited. Blair Lextrom himself, who was appointed as the liaison to the premier on this matter, wasn't even invited to this leadership table. So, I, I mean, I got my own opinions of what the agenda is of, of this group, but I know that we have been acting on, as cooperative with a regional district on this matter from day one. And I'd be apprehensive to be acting without without them there. Uh, Chetwin services, probably about half the people that we service is from outside the municipal boundaries, and their elected official isn't even invited to go and represent their interests at this meeting. Furthermore, to my understanding, at a PRRD meeting, um, I understand that the province uh, committed to the PRRD to provide them with the terms of reference to be reviewed before deciding whether to be part of this leadership table or not, and that has not been done yet either. 
Mesendowski, Councillor, uh, we've got some information from our, uh, our director, uh, Rose, and they're waiting, and uh, Blair Lextrom. We've been trying to uh, get some more information on this, and uh, as of right now, uh, the Premier hasn't gotten back, into, back to him on uh, whether or not uh, how it was handled on how the invites were handled. This uh, was not the way it was supposed to go was uh, the answer they got. So right now we're just waiting on, uh, on the information from Blair uh, to move forward and what direction that the council uh, needs to go. That, when I say council, I mean our council here in Chowan mm -hmm. because as uh, stated in the past, the leadership was to be taken by the PRRD in our uh, behalf on the Car Southern Mo Mountain Caribou issue with the agreement. So right now we're sitting waiting for uh, government to let us know whether or not the PRRD is invited. And uh, as of to, in the last hour, we, uh, I've, talking to, I've talked to Dan Rose and he's just waiting uh, for Blair to get back to him. Uh, but the, what, uh, the, what Carol, our CAO has been uh, advised myself and I'm advising, advising council that we uh, agree to pay for what we need to do here uh, with this motion so that if something was to happen, we could always get back and have a meeting and discuss it before, prior to, uh, I think uh, the date is October 17th on our letter. So if the PRRD isn't, uh, isn't involved, then we will have to uh, get some direction from our, I, I will have to get some direction from our council and then move forward with that. Yeah, I 100% agree. Yeah. I, we we need to approve this so that we're ready to go if, yes. if we go for sure. I, I yeah. think the question is, is do we? I, I don't know if we want to proceed without the regional district. Hopefully, they get invited and yes, and it'll I all agree. Be fine. Yeah. Um, I know here it says also space will be available for an advisor to be nearby if that would be helpful. Uh, I know that we've hired a professional biologist in the past to to kind of um, advise us on some stuff. I wonder if that would yes. be a, a good idea. That, to that have was to one of the suggestions uh, uh, Director Rose uh, oh, good, presented good. to us. Okay. Uh, Councillor Galbraith. Uh, well, I was just curious as to why they're holding these meetings in Vancouver to start. It would make more sense to send one person north than 15 south, correct? Correct but government holds government meetings probably closest to where they could get to and if they have more than one. I'm not defending any government uh, body, but when uh, they set uh, the table and they're, they're gonna meet wherever they put uh, on the table. A as for your, uh, your sense, it's good, right? It should make sense that we be here What's in the region. The invite list straight yeah. out first. But first, yes. So, uh, Based on just what I suggested there, would I be able to say um, mayor and and an advisor, say? Maybe not a counselor, but maybe a biologist? Um, can I offer that as a, a friendly amendment? What would be the proper wording, Carolyn? So do you want... This was uh, some of the stuff that, uh, again, uh, Rose uh, expressed that you take whoever you feel is uh, necessary with you, Al, he says. So anyway, if council feels that we need uh, more than just uh, the mayor and uh, if uh, Councillor Vazendowski agrees to it, yes, I, I would agree to that. That would be sufficient enough for us to have the proper people in place. Okay, then maybe we should just pass this particular motion and maybe should I make a separate motion? Maybe uh, I, I believe I don't think if we make a motion, it's already probably in place that we should be attending myself and you and no, I'm talking about a, a biologist. Okay, okay. Um, just be a friendly amendment then? Sure. Okay. Okay, I'll make that amendment. Okay, it'll be have to be on the amendment. Okay, go ahead. 
I'm just concerned the cost that we're also adding on to this is now we're going to pay a biologist. Plus, I'm pretty sure they're going to expect us to pay his travel. Oh, yeah. It's also, I mean, that's kind of a large commitment. I'm not sure if we can afford not to, though, is the thing. Correct. Well, I think yep. maybe we need to, after the first meeting, see where they're going. Because I'd hate to give up our seat at the table. We've been after them to get, I get us a seat at the table. Well, we've got a seat at the table. And I think we need, after the first meeting, you're going to know if it's good or not. Okay, let's uh, stick with the biologist because uh, we're, if we go on topic, we could discuss that once we get back to the main uh, motion of sending somebody. So with, uh, we need, he's got a motion and it was seconded, so let's deal with that first. If, uh, if it's the wish of the council to, to defeat the motion, then fine, then we will do that or accept it. It's the amendment, right? Okay. Any more discussion on uh, the biologist that we, uh, in the motion? Not hearing any. All those in favor of the biologist? All those opposed? Two opposed? Okay, carried. Okay, back to the main motion with the biologist uh, added, recorded. Okay, so. I'm not allowed, but there's really not much more. I mean, we're talking, yeah, it doesn't matter. I think we'll wait and see to vote what's going to happen. With mm -hmm. I, I think that would probably be wise. Yeah, and we may not be able to find a biologist by the 17th. We may not be available. So, I mean, if these two travel, exactly. and then they decide that, yeah, we need to get rid of the biologist, then we can decide. And that's just an option that we have available to us now. And that, uh, we should discuss it and, and see, first of all, see if the PRRD is getting invited, first of all, and then maybe mm -hmm. get their take on it as well. But. You know, if the PRRD is not not involved, I'd be very apprehensive about uh, attending this because uh, not so much by who they've invited, by who they've not invited, really yeah. paints a picture of of what is trying to get moved forward here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we got a motion. Any more discussion? Okay, all those in favor? The motion was amended. Carried. Okay, we got an email from the Peace River Regional District dated September 13, 2019, elected officials training. I'm going to make that motion okay. that council authorize all members of council to attend the elected officials training on October 9th and 23rd, 2023. Any discussion? Yeah, I wish yep. it was the base. <laughs> I would love to go to it, but, but unfortunately, Wednesdays are my yep. favorite day. Yep. It's just really unfortunate. Yeah, and myself as a director, the Peace River Regional will be taking care of uh, the director's uh, position as, uh, for travel. Oh. Yep, so the, uh, every other council is welcome. Okay, all those in favor? Carried. Okay, C1, correspondence. <coughs> the Northeast Roundtable Session 7 meeting notes dated September 4th, 2019. Any discussion? All those in favor? Carry. I guess to uh, receive for information, no discussion. Thank you. <laughs> I learned that somewhere. Okay, information uh, items. Any discussion about uh, items and nobody sees any? Okay. We've got a motion and a seconder. All those in favor to receive. Carried. So we, any public? Uh, we 
think you can ask if there's any other questions. Yeah. Any public questions at this time? Public? <laughs> okay, thank you. Not seeing any. I need a motion to adjourn. Okay, meeting adjourned. <laughs>